welcome to my first ever weekly vlog. It is Sunday, and normally I wouldn't vlog on a Sunday. Sunday is like my off day, but today is a very special day. Today marks one year since I left my toxic ass relationship. Can I get a good night? One whole year, okay? Hair We're all Nala. celebrating today. We're gonna shoot some content. Oh, my hair looks crazy. We're gonna shoot some content. I have some Instagram pictures to take. It is a shitty day in the neighborhood. It is raining, so we can't go outside. So we're gonna make the most out of my apartment and the like it's always day. shitty in Jersey, but always. we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, this video is gonna be positive. We're not gonna be negative. Even we're not though it negative. completely sucks here. Yeah. Like everything about New Jersey is just it's the armpit of the United States, but. We're excited! <laughs> Yay! Yay. Sing up. Woo! Okay, so we're about to shoot some content. I have a picture to take for Fashion Nova. So I'm wearing a Fashion Nova dress. Fashion Nova. So we're just gonna go downstairs. We're gonna take you guys with us, but yeah. Hopefully we get some pictures. Some good ones. I know I take the great ones of Christina. Some you know. good ones. Sometimes I wish I could step out of my own body and take my own pictures, but you know. We can't all be photographers like me. Uh huh. Okay, we can correct. To what's that area called? The pool room. No, there's okay. a pool room, and then the there's game. there's a game room, and then there's like a uh, study. I think that's called a study. But well, we're going there. We're going to the study. By the way, I take the most amazing pictures. By the way, you do. Damn, why do I look so tan? And I haven't tanned in forever. Mm. Hopefully nobody's in there. Nah, just somebody's in there. Nobody's in there, which is good, but I don't want it in there. Was that you that just made that sound? I said, like, oh. <laughs> You're not always me. <laughs> I thought it was a man. <laughs> now every sound bugs you out, like your last video. Oh, <laughs> I knew we gotta go in the floor room. <sighs> okay, so we're about to go. People are studying it. Literally, they're using the study to study. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get a photo in here. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I got one good picture and I just posted it. And now me and Christina are about to go to Trader Joe's because I need food for the week. I decided just five minutes ago that I'm gonna be on a diet <laughs> and I wanna lose 10 pounds. So we're gonna go there. Christina, are you done shitting? Yeah. She got so excited, she had to poop. I literally have to drink more water because it was hard to come out. I think um, I'm gonna try to be plant-based this week and see how it goes. So we're about to run over to Trader Joe's for the fifth time. I don't know which clip I'm gonna use because this whole clip is a mess. We're about to head over to Trader Joe's to pick out some stuff. Hopefully it's not too crowded. Healthy living. Healthy living. Skinny right. queens, all 2021. Skinny queens. 
Damn, you have a bag of chips here, <laughs> What is this? Look who's what is this? These who's hot fries. Whose side are you on? Look, I'm not a fraud. I actually have this in my last vlog. Thank you for holding it for me. Let's see. Sodium 290. My diet starts tomorrow. For Oh, 50 of them. Oh, yeah, exactly. I don't have one. To Trader Joe's! To Trader Joe's! We go. Christina, would you like some tea and crumpets? Oh, yes, I want to rumpets. A little longer than a few minutes later. So we're back from Trader Joe's and this is everything I got. Mind you, I am one person living alone. Just me and Nala. Oh, and this isn't even all of it. I also got all of this right here. Again, I am one person. There is Literally. no need. <laughs> no need for all of this. And I got a lot of stuff too, but I gotta go bring it home before it goes bad in my car right now, so. Yeah, so Christina's gonna go. But it's so crazy. Her stuff like equaled to like what, like over two hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, just, and I'm one person. With all good stuff. Though. Well, anyway, so we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do. It's like chocolate and all that. I'm thinking crazy. I thought there was chocolate on your mouth. But there isn't. Maybe not yet. <laughs> Christina's about to leave me. So we got some good stuff though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Until next. Time. Say bye, I Christina. will see you guys next time. She'll see you guys next time. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Uh, uh. Me too much. Wait a second. I think we have one thing missing. What did you get, Nala? What is that? What did you get? You got some chicken tenders. You got some chicken tenders, huh? <laughs> yeah, you got some chicken tenders. <laughs> I love some chicken tenders. Can I have some? She said, no ma'am. No ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am. Well, happy Monday to me. I am covered in feces. Oh, oh my God. I didn't know how bad it was. Uh, 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 <coughs> oh my God. Uh. So I was walking Nala and she took a shit, you know, as she does. She's a good girl. And I guess when I was cleaning it up, part of her poop must have been stuck to the top of the bag where I was trying to tie it and I didn't realize that shit got on my hand. And then I went to put my hand in my pocket and now I just have this on my Canada Goose jacket. I need to go shower. I don't care if it was just on my hand. I gotta go shower. Happy Monday. Love you. Welcome to my office. After this morning's shitty situation, I just decided not to do anything <laughs> too crazy today because I felt like once you start off your morning covered in shit, you're pretty much done for the day as far as I'm concerned. So, oh, the sun is coming out. And I mean, I was going to go on a rant about how today was really, really rainy, but now the sun wants to make me look like a liar. So I guess I'll just go f myself. Today, I'm just going to take two photos, one in this set that you saw in my last vlog. This is the Pretty Little Thing X Becky G collab. And this has to go up tomorrow, so I'm going to take that today. And I'm going to take today's post today as well, which is another Pretty Little Thing dress. I need to catch up on some posts but other than that I'm just gonna take it easy today like 
I'm just not, I'm just not with it. But I did get something in the mail today. I ordered a new lens for my vlogging camera, the one that I'm filming on right now. And it's a wide angle lens, so I'll be able to have like wider shots. So you guys just don't see up my nose the entire time. So I'm excited to put this on. I think I'm gonna wait until after I'm done with pictures though. Um, and then we'll see how it looks. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. Cause I'm always trying to upgrade my equipment and all of that. So you guys get the best quality videos and it's videos that I'm proud to put out. So yeah, that's it today. Boring day, but don't worry. We have the rest of the week to have fun and you know, get covered in shit. So, oh, okay. Happy Tuesday, my loves. Yesterday was pretty much a dud getting shit all over me wasn't on my bingo card for this week but it's all good i wound up just taking like two photos and calling it a day so i have a photo ready to go up for today so i don't have to do my makeup today which is really nice oh and i found my car mount which is why you guys get to drive with me today i couldn't find it for the longest time and then i realized that i had filmed a video in my bathroom with it so now we get to drive together with my car mount and my new wide angle lens. Let me know how you like this, sir. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Come on now. Cuts me off completely and then wants to let me go. No, you're already, you've already committed. But anyway. why guys think it's cool to have loud cars it just to me it's like you're just overcompensating for something you know like something else has got to be in your life but anyway i digress so because i'm caught up with my work today i just have some errands to run i don't know about you guys but once i run out of one thing like household cleaners i run out of everything involving household cleaners so I ran out of laundry detergent, fabric softener, floor cleaner, like I ran out of everything at once, basically. So I'm on my way to Target right now, but on the way I have to stop at the UPS store because I bought two of the same lens by accident for my camera and clearly I only have one camera and only need one lens. And I don't know how I didn't realize it when I ordered it that my order was $100 instead of 50, but here we are. So I'm on my way to the UPS store first because I wanna get that out of the way. There's something about going to the post office and the UPS store that just gives me major anxiety. So I wanted to get that out of the way first so I can enjoy the rest of my shopping trip. I don't know if you guys are like that too. Like I just, there's just something about it. So send good vibes my way because I'm literally panicking. I'm gonna stop at GNC because it's right next to the UPS store because I want some pre-workout. I have been drinking less coffee lately and my workouts have been subpar. So I wanna get some pre-workout just for that. And then I'm gonna stop at Ulta because Ulta makes me happy, so. That's what we have on the agenda for right now. Okay, so it literally took me like 10 minutes to find a parking spot because every car that I parked next to, there were people sitting inside. Like, what are you doing? I'm about to go into the UPS store. Do you guys know that TikTok or that TikTok sound that's like, <sighs> oh, I have a panic attack. <sighs> that's how I feel right now. And it's just not a good feeling. So I wanna get this over with, but this is the lens I'm returning. It's the lens that's on my camera right now. I'm gonna go do that, and GNC is right here. So wish me luck. Oh, I hate this, I hate this so much. Ugh. While Patchy pulls himself together, let's see how SpongeBob's party is shaping up. Oh my God. I left my entire wallet at home. Like every single card that I own is at home right now. So my dumbass went into GNC trying to buy something, went up to the register, and I was like, oh. Now I have to go all the way back home. Oh my God, that's so annoying. That's so fucking annoying, dude. Meanwhile, I'm like so worried about the UPS store, and the guy in there was so nice, so I felt like such a pendeja for being so nervous. And I'm like, hmm. We just walk over to GNC, that took like 30 seconds. Found the pre-workout I needed, the guy was so helpful. 
and completely just don't have my wallet. See, this is why I need to film my entire life because it's a complete joke, you know? <laughs> just everything about it is just like, what the f I have my fanny pack now. Thank you, Angela. Okay, just drop that on the floor too. <sighs> Woo! Now I have to go back to GNC with my tail between my legs. Five minutes later. Okay, I am back. <laughs> How embarrassing. Um, there was a new girl there, I guess. Her shift just started. She's just like, can I help you with anything? I was like, no, I'm just coming back. And the guy that helped me was like, yeah, what she wants is over there. I like explained to her I forgot my wallet at home. And I was like, I'm so stupid. She's like, no, you're not. You're not stupid. Things happen. I was like, oh, thank you. But anyway, got the Alani new pre-workout in Carnival Candy Grape. So I'm excited to try that out. The guy said that there's no creatine in it, so I won't blow up like a balloon. And also the crash isn't, there's like no crash, like C4 gives you. So I am definitely excited. To try that. I'm probably never going back there again though. I'm so embarrassed. Next we're gonna go to the grocery store and to Target which are right across from each other and I'm not picking up anything fun from there because like I said it's literally just cleaning supplies but you know how going to Target is. You say you're going in for one thing and then you leave with an entirely new makeup routine. We'll see. I'm not making any promises. 20 minutes later. Okay so Target run is done. I'm gonna place my Starbucks order now. I didn't get anything interesting from Target. Like I said, I'm trying to hold back. But also, my Target never has anything. Bitch, I just realized I can get my Starbucks for free. I have like over 600 points. So I got my coffee for free, how nice is that? Yay, yay! Place my order, I'm gonna go pick it up. It's literally in the same parking lot, but I can't be bothered to go in. So let's drive 20 feet over there. Side note. Like I was saying about Target, I feel like all the little TikTokers live around here because there's never anything TikTok popping at Target. It's always sold out. And it's so frustrating. Like, what are you guys doing with this stuff? Like, seriously, what are you doing? Also, have you ever been in a store where the same person gets in your way the entire time somehow even though the store is massive the same person even, and even though the aisles are wide somehow the way they walk and the way they're moving blocks you from going anywhere literally the same guy kept on like getting in my way the entire time tell me how i was just talking to myself and i wasn't even recording ah! you know what i'm gonna stop complaining because I feel like that's bringing more negativity into my life, like stuff like that. I mean, how many more things could go wrong today, you know? But I don't even know if any of this got filmed, so I'm gonna say it again. I picked up my Starbucks drink and I was talking to myself about how with Starbucks, the drinks taste different depending on where you go. Like, if you go to a different city, state, even if you go to one in your same city, Depending on who makes it, some of them make their coffee so bomb, and others you're like, what the fuck is this? It's not like McDonald's where it's like, when you order a McNuggets here, it's gonna taste like the McNuggets in California. I mean, it's like that with Starbucks, but I guess with food it's different, but when they're actually like making the drinks, like, it always tastes different to me. Oh my God, they put so much caramel on top, I just like gulped an entire thing of caramel. And I kind of liked it. Any hoozy, this is my last stop of the day. Save the best for last. The happiest place on earth. I actually like going to Ulta way better than Sephora because once they ask you, do you need help when you walk in the door, they don't bother you after that. Well, not really, but like, I don't know, I just kind of like Ulta better. I like to go just to walk around even if I'm not buying anything, but today I have something that I do want to buy. So I will show you once I pick it up. Oh, I hate this working. Oh, here I go complaining. <laughs> I can't not complain for like five minutes. Okay. Today is a beautiful day. I love today. I love this parking garage and I love that there are all these spots to choose from. This is absolutely wonderful. I love it here. Okay, I'm about to go in. Let me pray that I don't spend too much money.
Okay. Five hours later. Let me show you what I got from Ulta. I got the IGK Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. My hair girl used this on me and it smells so good. It's a heat protectant. It's supposed to make your hair look really healthy, so got that. I also got the Whey Finishing Cream. As you can see, my hair is really frizzy and I just need something to smooth out all the flyaways. So I'm gonna give this a try. And then lastly, I got the Redken Water Wax 03 for my edges because I wanted to try something new, basically. I really need to start like telling you guys what I'm wearing since I am a fashion channel. So here we go. Today's jacket is from Fashion Nova. The hoodie underneath is Pretty Little Thing and these glasses are Tom Ford. I'm gonna go home and then it's almost time for me to post my video. So I'm going to do that and then answer all of your comments. And that's pretty much it for today. I'm ahead of the game as far as my work goes. So I think my focus is just gonna be on you guys today and commenting you guys back and that's about it. Okay, you guys, I'm home. It is 1.59 p.m. I like to post my YouTube videos at 2 o'clock on the dot. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. As soon as it hits 2, I'm going to go from private to public. This is my Fashion Nova activewear try-on haul. I love this video. I love how it came out. I worked really, really hard on it. And I think it's going to do well. So fingers crossed. Yes, okay. Ah, it's 2 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going from unlisted actually to public, done, save. And now that it's live, I'm gonna change the links on all my social media. Okay. So I just posted on my Twitter. I tweeted my, my link. Oh my God, I got 1 million views on YouTube this month. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I got 1 million views this month. I think last month I had like 60,000. Amazing, oh my gosh. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. This video isn't over. I just had to thank you in the middle <laughs> for watching my videos because, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I hit a million views this month. Thank you. <clears throat> um, anyway, I have to post my thumbnail on Instagram right now. But before we do that, let's just get our early squad comments. Okay, you guys, look at this. I literally just posted my video and I already have like 10 or 15 comments. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Thank you so, so much. So I'm just going to sit here for basically the rest of the day and just answer your comments as they come in. YouTube is really my favorite place to interact with you guys because it just is easier to respond to comments on here. Instagram will like block me from commenting back after like 10 comments, which is extremely frustrating. But with YouTube, like if you ever have a question about anything or wanna know where something is from, even if it's on Instagram that I posted it, always comment my YouTube because you're gonna get a response there, so. Oh, so I'm going to answer these comments, show you guys some love back. And that's pretty much it for today. If anything else pops up, you know, I'll hop on, but pretty chill day, so. Oh my gosh, a million views. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my happy dance, all right, bye. Okay, so I just took Nala out for a walk. It's so cold outside, but it's like burning hot in here because everyone's heat rises to my floor, which is good for me and my electric bill, but it is so hot in here. I'm gonna open the window as soon as I'm done with this little unboxing because when I took her out, I saw that I had a million packages. Let's open them together, shall we? What's behind? Don't. 
Ooh. We have the Z-Quil Pure Z's De-Stress and Sleep. This is the best melatonin sleep aid I've ever tried. I have the other one. So I have the triple action z -Quil and it does not work like the de-stress and sleep. This one knocks me the f out and I can never find it in store. It's always sold out. And I think it's because it's the best one. So if you have trouble sleeping at night, the de-stress is the way to go. Next up, we have sunglasses. These are so dope. Hold on. These are even better than I thought that they were going to be. Oh, look at these. I mean, right now I kind of look goofy with them because I'm really, really pale, but this with a tan, sweetie. They make everything so much more golden and happy and fun. I love these. Oh, it hurts so bad. Okay, I got this continuous spray bottle because I heard that if you put like that water self tanner in here, and self tan using this continuous sprayer it's so much easier and it gives you more of a even unsplotchy tan next up i think this is a necklace yeah this is a vivian westwood necklace that i've been seeing legit everywhere it's so cute either i have a super beefy neck or this is a choker but this is really cute lastly from amazon we have, these are hair clips. So these are those really big hair clips that are trending right now. They're just like matte and really, really big. And these are perfect because I have long hair thanks to my extensions. But um, I really like that like secretary look right now. That's it for Amazon, but I did place an order at Ulta because I saw they had the NYX Shine Loud liquid lips and stuff. Oh my gosh, I've been dying to try these. I got Global Citizen, which is this like nude color. I got Ambition Statement, which is more of like a warm brown. I got Rebel in Red, which is, I think this is the warm red, not the blue red. And then this is the one I really wanted. This is Magic Maker. And I wanna try this right now. Well, let me just finish unboxing and then we'll try it out. I got the Ordinary Hair Care Multi-Peptide Serum for hair density. I've heard good things about it, we'll see. And then I got a new perfume. Well, I just got like the little travel size of it. This is Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent because every time I'm going through something in my life, I wanna change up my perfume. Like that's just how I am as a person. I personally attach memories to smells. So if I have a bad experience wearing a certain perfume, I can't wear that perfume again. It's such a waste. But then like every time I wear that perfume, I'll think about that one bad moment. So it's time to switch it up. This smells really good. Ooh, I think I found my new perfume until something else bad happens in my life. <laughs> and that's it for that. Let me grab my lip liner so i could try on one of these nyx shine louds and we'll see what the hype is about so i'm just taking my kkw nude 2 liner and lining my lips first and i'm gonna apply the liquid lip Ooh, are they supposed to be like that? This one's like, <laughs> that is phenomenal. Here are some swatches just for reference. The one I'm wearing is on top, that's Magic Maker. Then there's Ambition Statement, Global Citizen, and Rebel in Red. Okay, happy Wednesday. I know you're probably like, Angela, where's your face? Stop playing, but I'm literally not wearing clothes right now. I have self tanner on, so you know, that's just not YouTube appropriate, but I got this box in and I am so excited. Sorry, I'm out of breath. That's how excited I am, but I just got this box in. And before I show you what's in the box, I just wanted to put out a little disclaimer, which is sad that I have to do, but you know how it goes. I spend a bag 
on everybody but myself. <laughs> and I just wanted to change that and be kind to myself, do something nice for me. I've been eyeing these for so, 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 so long. And I've also been going through some of the toughest times I've ever gone through in my life. So I wanted to treat myself. I am in no way telling you that you need to buy these. There's no affiliate links, nothing like that. And I wasn't even sure if I was gonna show you guys these, but I also work really, really hard. Oh my God, I'm gonna start crying. Um, I worked really hard to buy myself stuff like this. So, you know, it's just like a, it's something that I'm proud of, so. Anyway, enough of the sob story here. Let's just, let's see what's inside, okay? <laughs> and yes, I did get it gift wrapped for myself. Let's see what the card says. I love you, bitch. And I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. Aw, I love me so much. Oh my God, this box is literally massive. Fifty layers to this. Oh my god, they're beautiful. Hold on, let me take this out. Oh my god. Hi babies. So I got the combat boots that have been trending for a minute. They're always sold out. And I randomly Googled them one day and Saks had them in my size and they pretty much sold out like instantly after that. So I can't believe I got my hands on them. Ooh, damn girl, these are stunning. I hope they fit me. Oh my God, I love them so much. Okay, you guys, I'm back and I'm gonna dye my hair before I shower off my self tanner. So in case anybody was wondering what hair color I use, I mean, a total of zero people asked me, but here we go. Anyway, I use the Garnier Nutrice Nourishing Color Cream in number 20, black tea. I know it doesn't look like it, but my roots are a lot lighter than the rest of my hair. My roots are a lot lighter than the rest of my hair. So when they're not as dark, just kind of looks weird to me. So I'm just going to do this. I was going to diet this weekend, but I'm going out to dinner tonight. So I wanted to diet before then. So other than the box dye, I use a pair of gloves. I ran out of my medical gloves, so I'm using these. I like thicker gloves so they don't stain my nails through like the gloves that these. How like these gloves suck in here. I could never. Like your whole hand will be. I don't even know the point of them because they're so thin and like porous that the color goes right through. Them. Like these, don't use those. Use like a thick pair of gloves, and I use my own brush too to apply the product. And I just do my mixing. I'll use the conditioner it comes with. I do my little mixing like the chemist I am and then I just apply it to my roots. It's really, really easy. I like doing my own color at home. I hate going to the salon. Ugh, I hate going to the salon so, so much. I know some people like getting pampered and you know, having like girls stay, but for me, it's just draining. I don't like any of that. I just like to look good without spending too much time <laughs> trying to look good, you feel me? So here we are using Amazon hair dye. So yeah, I order mine off of Amazon. It comes in a pack of two. I think they have singles as well, but I dye my hair like once a month, so I just like to have extra on hand for situations like this where I'm gonna like dye my hair a little bit earlier than normal. Yeah, so let's shake it up. I like the shape weight. 
make it work out. my hair it's blown dry this is what it looks like if you guys want like a hair routine or like a wash day routine or a blow dry routine let me know i don't even know if people do that anymore so i don't want to like film the whole thing and like it gets like two views and yeah let me know but this is how the color and blowout came out with all the products i use and my face is so red because I literally just finished and yeah. So I'm supposed to be going out to dinner tonight and I really don't feel like going, honestly. I legit just did my hair and then I was like, <laughs> can I lay down now? So I'm hoping that what my friend is doing takes longer than expected. So we just reschedule to like tomorrow or just like not go, you know? Cause I'm already going out to dinner with Michelle on Saturday. You guys don't know that, but um, she just texted me yesterday and we made a reservation um, for a restaurant in the city on Saturday. So I don't wanna go to the city twice in a week. I barely like leaving my house once a week. So that's the dilemma I'm in, but I guess we'll see the next time I see you guys if I actually went. Cause if I go, I'll give you like a little outfit of the night. And if I don't, you'll catch me in bed, so. That's that. What is up, you guys? It is Thursday. I did not go out to dinner last night. I was like, F this, F that. I don't feel like going anywhere, and my ass went to bed, period. I just, nothing happened, I went to bed. Today, I woke up, cleaned off this counter, because it was looking a little bit crazy, and I just filmed my Amazon favorites video, which I think you guys are really gonna like. I mean, by the time you see this video, that video will already be up, so I'll link that down below. That's pretty much it. I have to take another photo um, after I clean my, my room is disgusting right now, and I would like bring you guys in there to clean with me, but I'm just so embarrassed. Like, um, so I'm gonna clean that up. And then I have some like rearranging I wanna do in here because there is a mirror I have in my hallway right there. And I want that mirror in my room so I can do my try on hauls in there and it be like more of an aesthetic because having it here, whenever I take my photos, you guys see like the fire alarm, mask hanger thing, so ugly. Like my boots, the outlet, the door, it's just like so ugly. And my room is so cute. So even though I love having the mirror in the hallway, it's gotta go. Like it's just, it's gotta go. So I'm gonna do that right now. And it's getting so dark so fast. It's like, I feel like I have good lighting in here for five minutes and then the sun is like, <laughs> I didn't make plans to do anything today because my ex was supposed to send over my luggage. Okay, so mini story time. Me and my ex broke up a year ago, okay? And when he was moving out, he asked if he could like borrow my luggage to take his stuff. And me, out of the goodness of my heart, I was like, okay, you could take my luggage. I'm just make sure you bring it back because he was gonna come back like two weeks later to get the rest of his stuff. So he didn't come back for like legit months. So he had my luggage and I know this sounds really petty, but I had just bought that luggage and it was like 500, it was a $500 set from Away. If you guys know what Away luggage is, like it's good luggage. So I kind of like forgot about it. I was like, I'm never gonna get that luggage back, whatever, but he hit me up and um, said that he would like bring it back. He would like send it on an Uber and he said that he would either drop it off or the Uber would drop it off yesterday or today and I still have no luggage. <laughs> so I was like, I don't even know why I get my hopes up for things like this, but if you guys remember, if, well, if you follow me on Instagram, back in October, I went to Mexico and because I didn't have my away luggage, I had to get some like cheap luggage from like Marshalls type shit. And I did and my luggage broke, like the airlines broke my luggage and it came back all taped up. 
and I remember being so pissed off. Like if I had my away luggage, this wouldn't have happened. But I mean, it just goes to show like I am so nice to people. <laughs> like I'm just like, yeah, like you can take my luggage. Just, you know, I should have just made him go to Marshall's and get his own set. But no good deed goes unpunished. But that's it. Um, when I start moving stuff around, I will show you guys what I'm doing, but you guys can't even see the floor in my room right now. It's so embarrassing. So let me go take care of that and I will be right back. Okay, so it is now Thursday night. I have been cleaning my room all day. Let me see if I can even show you I'm cooking dinner right now, but mm. no. <laughs> um, I'll show you when it's like mostly, mostly done. I've just been like putting a ton of clothes away and all of that, I had to deal with some stuff completely unrelated, so I had to like sit down and handle it, but it's fine. I'm gonna get back to cleaning right after I eat. I'm just gonna make some homemade chipotle bowls because I do that. I make my own rice, my rice cooker. I live it. And yeah, as soon as I'm done eating, I'm gonna finish the room. I like the new aesthetic of my room. I'll show you when it's ready, but I'm hoping I get an Instagram picture done tonight in there, which is why I haven't taken off my makeup yet, but it's already seven. Oh my gosh, it's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock, so I don't know if I'm gonna get this picture done, but I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna keep my makeup on until the very last minute. I think I have asthma, but anyway, happy Saturday, you guys. I didn't vlog yesterday because all I really did was, what did I do yesterday? Oh, I edited my Amazon favorites video and posted it. And then I went out to dinner with my friend. Like I got ready really quick, like did a half ass job of my makeup. And that was pretty much it. Like nothing else happened. And also I knew that today was a big day. So I wanted to leave some time in the vlog to end this thing with a bang because I'm about to go get some piercings and by some I mean like four or five. I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided, but I definitely want some piercings. I don't know if I'm going through like a midlife crisis or whatever, but I'm in the mood for some pain, so let's bring it on. But this is my, oh by the way, this is my new like little setup in my bedroom, say hi Noah. Okay, ma'am. So this is the setup I was talking about. I moved my mirror from the hallway into here. And I just like this so much better aesthetics wise. I would show you the rest of the room, but clearly there's some stuff happening back there. That's, you know, you know, so. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go get some piercings and this is my outfit that I'm wearing. I know you guys saw this exact outfit at the beginning of this vlog, but it's the biggest, comfiest thing I have right now. I want to be comfy while I get pierced. So the jacket is, again, Pretty Little Thing. The set is Pretty Little Thing as well. And then my sunglasses and boots are from Amazon. They are both linked in my Amazon storefront. The boots, though, are men's. So I'm just going to tell you right now, they are men's. I love them, though. They're like these, like, lace-up Uggs. And I don't know why men get the best shoes, but I'm constantly buying men's shoes because I just love how they look and feel way, way better. But okay. <sighs> Enough rambling. Let's go get pierced, shall we? Comment below right now how many piercings you think I'm going to get, okay? Right, right now, before you skip ahead and find out, I want you to comment how many I'm going to get, all right? So let's go get pierced. Okay, I'm home. My ear is so, so red. Okay, so they gave me this like mask thing. I don't even know how it works. Oh, there it is. And it's just supposed to hold my mask around my head so I don't have to put the things behind my ears. But oh my word, my ear feels like it's on fire. Um, the actual piercing didn't hurt at all. So I don't know what people are talking about when they're like, oh, the contract's so bad. It tickled as far as I'm concerned. What hurt me was the fact that all of this with the jewelry was $1,300, okay? Let me just show you the, the jewelry I got. So, sorry, I have like 
my baby hairs are like grown adult hairs in college now, but I was originally gonna do three. I was just gonna do my third here, my third, my conch, and my helix, but I was like, I might as well do my third on this side too, so I wound up getting four. But um, yeah, the jewelry is all yellow gold. The girl that helped me out was so sweet and so cute. But she pulled out like the one for the conch. There was another one that looked very similar. It had like better clarity. It was bigger. It was just like, I forgot what she called it. But I was like, yeah, I want that one. <laughs> and then she was like, okay, well, that's going to be $1,000 just for the jewelry. And I was like, okay, well, let's just see something else. So all together, I spent $1,300 on the jewelry plus the piercings. I went to Pleasurable Piercings in Hawthorne. It's where I've been getting all my piercings since I was like 15. And yeah, they're amazing there, but I did not expect to spend $1,300. And they're like, they're so funny. Like when they mark up your ear, they mark it up with like this little purple marker. And at the end they're like, oh, you could keep the marker. We only use it once. Like, thank you for letting me keep the marker. Thank you so much. For what I paid here today, I should get equity in your company, but you know, I'll take the marker. Um, no, but they're, su they're super sweet. I just, I thought I was gonna spend maybe $400, but I forgot this isn't the boardwalk, you know? This is like a legit piercing place. So I think it came out really cute. It didn't hurt at all. I don't know what anybody was talking about saying that the conch hurts so bad, like literally barely felt it. What hurts is the now. My ear feels like it's on fire. Okay, like it literally feels like it's on fire. Let me get a fan, actually. The ride home was miserable. Every time I like turned my head, I was like, oh, 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 oh. Anyway, I'm starving. It is now three o'clock and I'm going out to dinner tonight with my friend, Michelle. We have a reservation at 8.30. I'm gonna pick her up at 7.30, which means I should be ready around 6.30. That means I have to start getting ready soon. But I'm starving now, so I think I'm gonna make something to eat. I heard this cauliflower, this cauliflower. This cauliflower and gnocchi is really good. So I'm gonna see if I have any sauce. If not, I'll just do that TikTok pasta pack with the feta, because I know I have feta. And tomatoes. Lunch is sir. This is cauliflower gnocchi with some just plain whole foods tomato sauce that I jazzed up with some spices and I topped it with some unexpected cheddar. And that doesn't sound like it would be good, <laughs> but this has like such a Parmesan aftertaste that I was like, why not? So, okay, so I'm running late per usual for dinner, but I want to show you guys my outfit. My jumpsuit is from Amazon, link to my storefront. Look how good my earrings look. You can't even tell the lighting in here. It's just, I gotta fix it. Um, but yeah, Prada bag, Prada boots, and I'm about to go pick up my bitch. So, I'll see you guys when I get home. That's mommy's home. <laughs> Yes, mommy. So you want to say bye to the vlog? You want to close this out, my queen? Oh. Say okay, bye. Oh, my hair. Oh, that's that's stuck in my earring. Yes. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, you're pulling my earring right now. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Um. Um, what Nala was trying to say is that we had so much fun hanging out with you guys this week. If this week taught me anything, it's that I stay home a lot <laughs> and I just be in the house. But other than that, I thought it was a pretty good week <laughs> and I'm about to hit the sack right now. So I just want to take these eyelashes off. Let's take them off together, shall we? Oh, these are like really on there. Ah. Oh. Oh, I put it in the sink. Oh, it's on the sink. It's on the sink. It's on the sink. Oh, but anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I will see you in the next one. Love you.